Hello and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten, and we're going to continue the Canadian horror movie theme that we started last week. We figure, why stop? Let's just keep going and get some good Canadian horror off of our chest. Right. But first off, what are we drinking? The Seagrass Gossa. Mm. Today we're going to be featuring 1988's The Kiss. It stars Joanna Pacula. Pacula? Pa Pacula? Pacula? <laughs> Either way, she was in March for Death. Screw face! <laughs> no! Meredith Selinger is in this as well, and she was in Lake Placid and uh, Carpenter's so-so eh, remake of Village of the Damned. The kiss starts off in 1963 in the Belgian Congo. There's a family waiting at this train station. There's the father, the aunt, and two sisters, Felice and Hilary. The aunt is taking Felice away because she is sick and the father is staying behind with Hillary. The aunt pulls out this talisman, goes to go kiss Felice. It's almost like something's being sucked out of her. She gets all shriveled and turns into this corpse. It jumps forward 25 years later to 1988, <laughs> the <Yeah>. 80s. <laughs> Hillary's now daughter, Amy, is having this big party. This fucking rich people, this big <laughs> house, this nice pool. The guy who delivers the cake, he's super 80s. Yeah. It's during this party where there's a phone call. It's his aunt, Felice, who she's never heard of before. So we find out that Felice is going to be coming to town. Hillary goes shopping. For a gun, I for think. For a gun, for some <laughs> reason. We don't know why. Out of nowhere, boom, this fucking <laughs> truck comes and plows her right through the window in the building. The rescuers come to pull her out from underneath the car, and then her leg gets left behind. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh. She does end up dying later in the hospital. After the funeral for Hillary, Felice ends up showing up. We find out that she's like a world-traveling model, interjecting her way into the family a little bit as kind of almost being like the mother figure mm. and getting close to the dad and trying to be really close to Amy. Amy and her friend go shopping at the mall, of course. The yeah. 80s are going to go to the mall. Of course. And friend drops some lipstick on the escalator. She goes to bend down to pick it up and her necklace gets caught in it trying to get out and Amy's like trying to yank her out and you don't really see what happens oh. but you know that she doesn't get out and so Amy's a little suspicious about Felice she goes looking through her things and opens up a bag and finds this weird talisman and a pair of her dead mother's sunglasses along with Felice coming on kind of strong to Amy she's also coming on strong to the dad too just starts getting right in there to start <laughs> kissing and everything so Amy she's been getting fresh on the guy who delivered the cake <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're kind of boyfriend and girlfriend a little bit Amy tells him what's been going on and he kind of gets a little pissed off goes to Felice's hotel room to kind of confront about what's been going on. Jimmy's the, the door, too, with a credit card. Back in the 80s, yeah, that's, you could yeah, do that's this. In all those 80s movies, the credit card <laughs> Jimmy trick. Yeah, and it works, yeah. of course. And he sees Felice, like, performing some kind of ritual with that talisman thing. She also has this, like, crazy-looking fucking cat with her. He just backs out of there, yeah. but he drops his earring in the process. And that fucking cat has gotten into the car <laughs> somehow. Fighting this cat, and the cat's kind of scratching at him, and gets out of the car to get away from the cat, and near, boom, <laughs> he gets hit by a fucking truck. Amy is upset by what's been going on and she goes to her local church to tell like the priest Felice just takes that priest to town makes like a voodoo doll out of ripped out Bible pages and here he just starts to combust in the elevator and he yeah. just burns up meanwhile the neighbor Brenda managed to get a little bit of Felice's blood and she goes and takes it to the lab and gets it analyzed. One of the attendants too is uh, Mr. Sardo from Are You Afraid of the Dark? No Mr. Accent on the dough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this blood is actually from like a corpse. Technically, do not lie. <laughs> what do you mean no blood pressure, no pulse? Felice gets Amy and she ties her to the bed and starts performing the ritual to, I guess, kind of change bodies. Brenda and the dad pull up to the house to try and save Amy, and that's where we're going to end it. There's a lot more crazy shit that happens. The finale of this movie is super intense mm -hmm. and full of action. It's kind of weird because it starts off with the first shot of the movie in the train station. It looks all pro and, like, 
big budget <laughs> Hollywood, and then suddenly when it comes into the 80s, it looks all Canadian yeah, and <laughs> kind of cheap. Like, what <laughs> happened? Why didn't you make it all look like that, you know? They blew the budget in the first yeah. few minutes. <laughs> The kills are awesome in this movie. What I like about them is they're a little misleading, right? Yeah. You think that the, the person's gonna die one way, and they don't. They yeah. die a completely different way. Like the mother underneath the car, you think, oh, what, it's gonna go up in flames right. or something, or the car is gonna fall on mm -hmm. her. It's all shaking. Or something like that, but no, they just drag her out, and then that kind of last little tidbit with her leg being left yeah. behind, it's like, whoa, that kind of like, ooh, it's a bit of a punch <laughs> in the face, that one. The boyfriend, right? Yeah. He, I thought he was gonna get into an accident, or the cat was gonna gonna, gonna kill, kill him. him yeah but no he just gets out and yeah this movie's cool too because it kind of has a different twist on the whole voodoo kind of thing right how did this woman get into all this voodoo and what has possessed her and, and all that kind of stuff that the movie's very intriguing that way and puzzle that you're putting together right. as you watch it nothing's really laid out on a silver platter for you like this is exactly what's happening mm -hmm. in this movie you kind of have to figure it out yourself which is fun the fact that there's no backstory on this talisman mm -hmm. or how the ant in the beginning even got, got it. possessed yeah. or whatever yeah. you kind of don't need to know no it just starts that way and yeah. that's good enough the effects for this movie are really good and they're, oh, they're yeah. of course the 80s practical effects you know that cat that fucking cat's <laughs> yeah. a vicious looking fucker and it's a little kind of puppety a little bit but it it does its job when the priests spontaneously combust mm -hmm. really cool Sand. effect they drag the mom from underneath that truck like you don't even really see that it's a fake leg like it just it's pretty believable yeah that that's her real legs left behind <laughs> that's cool so if you want to see a very underrated canadian horror film that's got like a different twist on the whole voodoo theme that's very <laughs> 80s that has some great practical effects and you know one hell of a fun ending it's, oh yeah it's like at the ending you're like yeah like, <laughs> yeah. yeah shit's really hitting the fan here that dad certainly takes it on the chin yeah <laughs> Well, the dad, he gets his arm broken. And, and then thrown into that mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and then he all burns his hand all up trying to yeah. kill that snake thing. Yeah. <laughs> Please check out The Kiss. You know, it's not a perfect movie, but it's one hell of a fun movie. And until next time, keep drinking.